How's it going guys? Welcome back to Maker's Muse. My name is Angus and today we're doing a quick little vlog to keep you updated on everything that's been happening so far in June. Let's get into it. Welcome back guys. So as some of you may know, I went to the Robo Wars Vivid competition in Sydney on the weekend and it was nuts. The weather was insane. Absolutely insane. They almost almost shut down everything to do with Vivid, but the competition was locked in, the arena was there, so we went ahead with it. And because it was raining, there probably wasn't as many crowds as there would have been, which is good because it was packed. There was so many people, I couldn't even film much at all because there was just no way to get into the arena to, to film, it was nuts. But in terms of how my robot went, well, I did kind of design it with the intention of being entertaining, and it was pretty entertaining, as you can see with this quick little compilation. So yeah, the locks didn't work very well. I ended up using like shackles zipped tied to the chain and they surprisingly held on pretty well. It's completely not invertible. It couldn't drive at all properly by the end of the competition and it also smoked up at the end when the drive motors seized. But it was awesome fun and I will be competing again in the next competition and I'll be taking this idea of a flail to the next level because it's actually it's a really, really fun crowd pleasing design. It just makes tons of noise. It's chaotic. Exactly what I want in a robot. And check out these shirts. Check that out. So this is the Robo Wars Australia competitor shirts designed by Sparink Studios. So if you want some custom illustrations, hit them up. And onto something a little bit less positive. Airwolf 3D were broken into. They were essentially ram raided with a van and allegedly a man and a woman broke in and stole $60,000 worth of 3D printers, which sucks. That is awful. So in terms of Airwolf 3D printers, if you find any on Craigslist, uh, Elwolf have released the serial numbers of their printers and if you if they match up or you find any, anything looking a bit sus, shady, secondhand 3D printers, then definitely let Elwolf know because they're only a small company. I've never used an Elwolf myself, but I've always heard good things from them and having this happen to a small company is awful. So my full support and love to Elwolf and I hope that you guys find whoever was responsible for this because that is awful. Question time. Angus, where do you get your music? Well, I make it myself. Basically, I make music as a bit of a hobby and it makes it really easy to avoid copyright strikes on YouTube. Have you seen the Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer for $200? Yes, I have. It actually looks pretty cool and a few of the guys over on the Facebook 3D printing group have them and are really happy with them. They're sold out completely so far, as far as I can understand. And I believe they are a Malian M200 that's being rebranded by Monoprice. And that makes sense because Monoprice rebranded the Maker Select, which was a Wanhao i3. So I don't know how they've gotten the price so low. It's almost the same price as a Fabricator Mini, which is insane. But I wouldn't be against testing one, but I don't think I'm going to be seeing one anytime soon. Oh, and apparently PLA isn't a plastic according to this guy. Who knew? Garrett over at Chaos Core Tech has done some freaking adorable 3D printable slimes from Slime Rancher. So definitely go check out his video and download them from Thingiverse and print them out. I'm going to be printing out some myself really soon. They look awesome. And also, I was really, really impressed with the dope Fusion 360 skills. So nice work, man. And also, this is your last chance to get 50% off the Ultimate 3D Printers Buyer's Guide for 2016. This thing has been going nuts, and the 50% off discount code 20k thank you will expire tomorrow, which is Thursday, my time. So Thursday the 9th of June at 5 p.m. the code will expire. So this is your last chance to get that code and get 50% off. I actually ended up using Australian dollars instead of American dollars by accident, so it's actually ridiculously cheap for your American guys. It's like $3 US or something, but in terms of when the code expires, it will become $10 Australian, which is still like $7 US. So that pretty much sums up this little vlog of what's been going on in the world of 3D printing and what's been going on here on Makers Muse. If you guys want to see future 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, don't forget to subscribe, although you probably already all have. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Do you want to see another review? Do you want to see another project? Or would you like to see another tutorial? I'd like to get your feedback. 
because I love making these videos for you guys and I like to know what you want to see. So I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later.